Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technopets. In today's video, we will see how to communicate uh, between Mitsubishi Ethernet IP card uh, with uh, any Ethernet IP enabled device such as uh, Muro Electronics IO modules. So let's get started. First of all, we will uh, open the uh, Ethernet IP configurator tool for FX5U in a IP card. So this is used for FX5U inert IP card. If you are using QR CPU, then you will uh, see that uh, you have to configure the inbuilt the software only. So I will just right click here and I will click add. And you can you know, browse it from, browse the ADS file from here. And uh, let's see. This is my impact 67-e dash DIO 16 Ethernet IP uh, file. Now click next and finish. So I have this uh, Muro Electronics Ethernet IP uh, EDS file here. So I will just drag and drop this to location. Now name this device as uh, you can use any name like input uh, or uh, IO1. I1 will say and uh, the number here as you can see you can use up to 30, 31 numbers from 0 to 12 using one here and uh, this is the IP address of your uh, module and the IP of I Ethernet IP card is here like 251 and I've used this IP as one for the device now we have this file here you can check the input and outputs Input size is 10 byte and the output size is 2 byte. Now moving to the poor configuration in this file. Okay, now click OK. So basically, in this uh, configuration, you have to do only the basic setting like this. Now moving to the programming section. So I will use GXOX3 here. In GSOX3, we will be using two function blocks that are dedicated for Ethernet IP card. And one is for input and another is for output. Make a new project here. Using FX5 as a PLC. Click OK. Uh, we will be using input as M0 to M15 and uh, uh, the output we can use uh, let's suppose the 100 as a word for the output now go to click ok go to the parameter section add module using the network module oh, sorry not information module yes this is my Ethernet IP card click OK no. just click OK now go to the parameter section of FX5 Ethernet IP card just insert a valid IP address one two Eight, and three dot or uh, six eight ten dot one. So ten dot. Uh, let's suppose. Now, after this, click apply. Okay. Now, I'm going to the program part. I will use module here. Function module function block. And use the type. Card. So this is the get input instruction function block okay. and then click OK. For this input, uh, I'll be using M0 to M15. Just taking a lot of time here.
I think my system is running slow. Okay, finally. Now uh, let's use uh, SM400 here, all is on, and uh, FX5. Let's check the label here. Global. Okay, so. Let's first compile this project. I haven't had I think module add module level. So I have this module label like one and the connection number will be given and uh, this is okay let's use the 100 101 this is your uh, 102 okay. this is your error code just suppose the 0 0 0 this is uh, the one and for the input storage I will use K4 or K4 M0 so basically what we are doing here is we are using 4 nibbles from M0 to M15 so what uh, the input I will get from this instruction will be used uh, will reflect on M0 to M15 now going to the output section part just drag and drop other function block that is for output. Okay, now write SM400 here that is always on flag. Our module label that is FX5 SSC night FX5 in N E T E underscore. Now the connection number is again given and this is our output. We can do uh, like uh, we can use M200. So I will use K4 M200. So basically, what this instruction will do, this will cover from M200 to 215. That is four nibbles, and the output will be reflected to the module connected to the uh, inert card. So this uh, just say M10, M11. M12. So this is basically for your uh, you know, diagnostics that the error code and error con connection combination D20 and D21. Now just compile this and you are ready to make it with the uh, module. So basically, uh, in this uh, configuration, what uh, we have done is we have just connected one module uh, to the uh, to our Ethernet IP card, and by just changing the number in this uh, connection number and the input and output number, you can you know uh, connect multiple devices. So that's all you have to do in, for the communication. So that's all in this video. Uh, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.